I would be today uh, talking about the new optimistic distributor contract that, that's being built and also related to the application that's using it. It's a covenant protocol that's initially uh, meant for bribe distribution. So the plan would be to go briefly through the application of Covenant, what it's all about, why, why it's uh, needed, uh, what kind of problems it solves, and then uh, going into more details of how it's actually built and how it in integrates with Zuma and what other stuff you could potentially build using these uh, contracts. So starting with uh, existing like situation of why uh, covenant uh, and why like new uh, bribing uh, protocol was needed. So there were like two major issues like uh, identified regarding current bribing protocol. One is that, uh, that there was quite a lot of centralization element there that once you somebody posts uh, bribes for voters, uh, the voters have to do their job and uh, vote according to the bribe choice, but still there is some kind of centralization element uh, in a, in a, uh, assessing like results and how the actual bribes get distributed like on chain. So that's one part of the problem. And the other one uh, is lack of uh, efficiency that uh, independently of what uh, was being bribed on, the results uh, achieved are not uh, correlated with the amount of uh, money like spent there so uh, it was it, it is like quite hard to align those incentives so coming up from these two problems uh, covenant uh, protocol was trying to solve that and uh, uh, yeah so what, what the idea like initially was to do the concept of kpi you know, like based vote incentives so generally to make sure that the, what voters like uh, are voting for incentivized uh, uh, these uh, rewards and the, the bribers who, who post those uh, rewards they get what they pay for so if, if you spend amount x then you, it's correspondent to what uh, kind of uh, vote result was achieved. And uh, when we started uh, discussing potential like designs and how UMA could come into play into this, uh, the initial idea was to use existing KPI options that we already had and uh, use that to uh, track what what is being uh, what what kind of vote was uh, resolved. So, for example, it can could track snapshot voting or uh, the governance or uh, any other uh, other like uh, protocols doing their own uh, voting platforms or utilizing snapshot uh, spaces, uh, whatever the space is. Uh, UMA could track what, what has been resolved in these other voting platforms and uh, resolve actual payouts uh, accordingly. Uh, so one challenge that we got into there was initially, at least it was planned to track these votes real time but uh, and uh, make a secondary market on issued KPI options, but soon we realized that that's uh, quite challenging to implement because uh, depending on voting platform, but most commonly you can change your vote uh, after you commit. So UMA is, a, uh, is kind of unique in the sense that it has its uh, uh, commit and reveal cycle where you can't uh, track these uh, vote, votes uh, and you, you, after the commit phase ends, you can't like change it. While in uh, other, for example, snapshot votes, whenever the vote is open, you can post one vote and uh, ch change your mind. Or So only once the vote is resolved, uh, only then uh, you could actually determine what was uh, achieved and what does it mean for the briber. So th that meant we would need to abandon the idea of uh, any like secondary market as that would be like true speculation 
uh, on what would be uh, actually uh, resolved. And also there was a challenge of how to distribute uh, these KPI options because that again would need to be some kind of centralized uh, solution uh, that uh, we wanted to avoid. So here uh, coming up, we're working up from uh, there, uh, the big picture how uh, we ended up integrating um, Covenant in uh, UMA using its uh, Web3 Oracle is that on one side there is there are group of spo independent sponsors who are uh, at least for the Covenant part uh, posting bribes for voters uh, on any you know, like uh, br voting protocol what they want uh, to incentivize then they, they post it directly to new optimistic distributor contract that has been uh, developed and now is undergoing uh, audit review and this optimistic distributor contract is controlling the Merkel distributor contract and that's one of the uh, pieces that we at UMA already had implemented for, for example when it was used to distribute KPI options already but at that time it was done in centralized way so here we are actually plugging uh, it together with optimistic oracle control controlling those disbursements from optimistic distributor to Merkel distributor and Mer Mer you can think of Merkel distributor as a place where uh, the posts have been already posted and it's up to uh, the final recipients to claim them but all the verification uh, is done of the payouts and the distribution that's done uh, between uh, the uh, the rewards are moved from optimistic distributor contract to Merkel distributor contracts and for that to work uh, there has been created a new price identifier and approved already by UMA governance it's named Covenant V1 uh, which basically lays out all the specs that are uh, particularly uh, important for the Covenant to work uh, and it includes a structure of how uh, actually voters I mean UMA voters would should need to verify the votes that are being performed in any external protocols and for that uh, there are set of parameters that are linking to uh, individual method documentations also hosted probably somewhere on IPFS so that they can be changed after, after uh, posting the bribe and they, they would define uh, specifics of which is uh, actual underlying voting pro protocol which is uh, project uh, running the vote and uh, what, what are the rules of the vote and how, how you should resolve actually the total payout uh, what kind of payout function you, you want to achieve there depending on for example if it's uh, uh, go gorge vote so for example if it achieves uh, let's say 20% of total votes, how should that translate to the rewards paid in total for the voters? And uh, yeah, and then there's additional element of how those uh, rewards should be uh, distributed among individual voters. So there could be like very like simple uh, mechanisms where it's just pro rata of voters voting power, but uh, we, we have a very flexible system there that uh, anyone can design any uh, vote incentives and also for example provide uh, loyalty votes for example just tracking uh, if there are repeated sets of uh, votes being performed for example like uh, for C C curve gauge or chidao gauge distributions that are repeated uh, from time and time again and then this uh, covenant protocol would be able actually to see uh, how individual voters have behaved and uh, over the time and uh, reward those who are more loyal to the bribed choice for example 
and yeah, and uh, Uma and its optimistic oracle is potentially bringing up the dispute that DVM stands in between and verifies uh, uh, total payouts and their distribution, how they are uh, transferred from this deposit contract of optimistic distributor to the Merkle distributor where they can be claimed by recipients. Be before I go into more like technical details, do we have any like questions on this overall uh, view? Um, I don't know if you do this later, Rainus, but it might be useful to give people more context on what current bribing protocols look like today. Um, because yeah. I'm, I'm not sure like everybody's super familiar with like how bribes are actually used and conducted. Yeah, so the m most common types of votes uh, of bribes are uh, post posted in a uh, plat bribing platforms where uh, briber is just uh, fund funding uh, the bribe but does not know what what the actual like result achieved would be and vo any voter who observes those bribes and um, there are like several of these bribing uh, platforms uh, they just observe what what is uh, being posted and uh, might uh, amend their choice depending on uh, who, uh, which uh, choice is being uh, bribed the most, but there, there is no direct uh, feedback loop for the bribers of those uh, protocols to know uh, what would be the results, because once they post these uh, bribes, all the money is gone from, from their side, so even if there are no votes in favor of what they had, had been bribed, that would uh, still be distributed among a uh, small set of uh, voters who have participated. Sure, sure it at would attract uh, uh, more and more voters to participate as uh, bribe per vote uh, is high, but anyways, uh, it's not flexible enough to, gain, to give sufficient comfort for the bribers. And then for, for the execution of this, uh, these bribes, that would take some trust assumptions on the platform that's uh, organizing those payouts. And uh, yeah, any more detail? Yeah, I had a question, Rainus. Um, so we have the instructions on total payout distribution. So this distribution instructions, do those happen before the vote? No, this is an optimistic distributor. So it gives it only gives them to the people who actually used their tokens to vote in support of your bribe. Yeah. Uh, so the, yeah, it, it differs uh, from the normal like KPA options where uh, uh, the, the, the incentives are tokenized. So here we don't have that. Uh, so when sponsors uh, posts uh, rewards or particularly bribe in a uh, covenant they post it in optimistic uh, distributor contract and then the voters would be able to see uh, what's the amount being posted and what are linked instructions uh, uh, or like rules of the game how rewards should be paid out uh, if they behave uh, in certain ways and uh, then uh, only once that voting uh, phase is over, uh, then anybody could come up and uh, propose uh, what amount and who gets what uh, for this distribution. And uh, then it's job of UMA uh, to resolve whether or not this proposal has been valid or not. Uh, but uh, voters receive their rewards only at the end of the cycle. So th their only job is actually to do the vote or do the job that they're supposed to do. Cool, makes sense. So you can imagine trying to do this with regular KPI options, Clayton, right? And have like the KPI option payout uh, be dependent on like the percent of 
uh, voters that like vote for your specific outcome that you want. Um, but just re reiterating what Rain has said, like in that situation, how do you determine which voters actually get like uh, certain amounts of KPI options? And so that's like what the optimistic distributor solves. It's not only, you know, paying out certain amounts of rewards based upon like an overall metric, but also uh, siloing the amount of rewards given out uh, into uh, like position specific payouts or voter specific payouts. Right. And so if I were a voter and I became aware of this campaign to do a particular bribe, bribe I would want to evaluate my opportunity cost and also presumably the likelihood that other bribers will or other voters will work with me to achieve the goal of the bribe because if it doesn't achieve that goal i will have wasted my voting effort um, well it, it, it really depends on what kind of bribe payout is being posted but here actually you could uh, bring parallels to what we had uh, with uh, uh like liquidity mining 2.0 where both uh, sponsors and also like liquidity providers could actually get more predictable results because uh, the total pool of payouts is changing uh, depending on ho how many people are participating so if you get vo more voters uh, there are more total rewards but uh, dep depending on the actual payout function the rewards per voting power are more stable potentially here All right, so uh, we'll jump into more uh, technical details on how that's actually uh, built and operates under the hood. So for the system to work, there are some uh, four to optionally five uh, main um, phases for how our rewards uh, funded. So the first, uh, Period, like uh, first like epoch starts with funding the rewards where there is a certain time period where uh, the sponsor be it like briber can post uh, the rewards and uh, post the instructions uh, for resolving these uh, bribe results uh, then there is a period where uh, the payout this uh, then there is a period where uh, the actual underlying votes are being observed and then anyone could propose based on those initial rules that came up in the funding then optionally somebody can dispute as uh, anyone else can in uh, who uses uma optimistic oracle and once that's resolved there is distribution and uh, claims uh, for individual recipients so going from this first step so there are main function uh, that sponsor be it briber would call uh, to the optimistic distributor contract and that's a great reward where they identify what is maximum payout so that's like total uh, funding that they are uh, posting there that that could uh, depending on the vote result that could also be returned to them uh, at a later date but uh, initially they uh, have to collateralize fully their commitment for example if they uh, the payout is if if 100% uh, votes are achieved for the briber then they would uh, have to pay out all uh, rewards but if uh, if it's not achieved then the, they could get claim back on these uh, undistributed rewards then uh, they provide additional parameters that set uh, at which time uh, you could actually start proposing and that's highly dependent on uh, what's the life cycle of uh, underlying voting platform that's being bribed then we have two common uh, parameters for optimistic oracle where we set uh, optimistic oracle bond for proposers and disputers and also the liveness uh, time that should 
depend on how complex the calculation is so, so that incentives are, are aligned and then there is price identifier being passed on by the sponsor so currently it's covenant v1 but could be any new application if new rules are designed and then this they show what reward token so that that's a token in v which will be used for bribes and rewards and that's not uh, that there is no requirement for that to be approved in UMA governance because only the uh, bonding currency for the proposers and, and disputers uh, are should be approved by UMA governance but uh, this token that that's being actually the bribe currency can be any like ERC token uh, as long as it's not it complies with the standard and doesn't have any uh, fees on transfers or so, so, some strange stuff like changing uh, account balances uh, or rebasing if it's like standard token then uh, the sponsors don't need uh, their reward token being approved by UMA and then there's section of custom ancillary data where uh, normally we would expect that uh, the system allows uh saving those instructions uh, in a uh, separate file and uh, hosting them on, them on ipfs so that's interplanetary file system uh, which uh, provides a certain level of immutability and as long as there is so, uh, someone uh, participating and hosting uh, that particular file uh, the viewers can verify that that's immutable and not being changed because uh, it, based on the contents of this file for instructions uh, its name uh, would correspond to its uh, content hash and uh, this hash uh, link would be then included in this ancillary data so we, we have all the parameters uh, like written already and committed on chain and uh, we know quite sure certain that the content and the rules of the game cannot be changed arbitrarily by the sponsor by changing if it's hosted or on ipfs and yeah once uh, this is like for initial funding but then depending on what the period was um, set for when uh, rewar rewards can be proposed uh, there is opportunity for the same sponsor to top up these rewards for example if, the, if they see that there are, there is uh, some alternative comp competing briber for the protocol then uh, regional briber using the same like rules but could just top up uh, additional rewards uh, by calling this increase reward function uh, on optimistic distributor and uh, once this uh, period of funding is over uh, then we, we, we have we, all the voters know what is the total uh, committed funds for this particular bribe and may act accordingly uh, to perform the uh, vote uh, for the underlying protocol and then once the vote is over and uh, once the final results on the bribe choices can be observed uh, and verified then we, we, we have a period when any independent observer can uh, propose uh, payout and that's uh, happens by calling uh, proposed distribution to optimistic distributor again and that takes an argument of reward index that's just basically links to the previously funded uh, deposit sponsor funded by the sponsor and then there is two elements like merkel root and ipfs hash so uh, Chris and Nick already in some previous learning sessions have uh, made very good explanations on how uh, Merkle routes and like Merkle payouts uh, work so I, I'm not going to repeat that and everybody should be 
uh, could, could definitely take up those uh, great uh, learning sessions and uh, uh, dig in more into those details. But basically, the job of the proposer is first to construct the payouts for all the uh, voting recipients. And uh, the total amount being uh, proposed should uh, sum up to the total funding being uh, funded. And the way how this uh, KPI, op KPI element of the net payouts works is that uh, this proposer has to calculate the clawback amount that should be available for the original sponsor. So let's say, uh, according to the rules, uh, if the sponsor is eligible to claim back, let's say, 30% of the bribe, then he just his address needs to be put up as a normal like recipient recipient in these uh, payout tables uh, compiled by a proposer who observes those uh, rules and checks uh, whether or not they comply with achieved uh, voting results and once they have this table they also have to run this uh, merkle uh, they have to basically run this uh, payout table through uh, Merkel uh, tree construction function and uh, generate Merkel proofs for each individual uh, recipient and uh, generate Merkel root that's effectively is a uh, string that ca ca can be changed unless you ch change one uh, single piece of element. So. If you can verify the the all individual payouts, and if, if they match, the, also the Merkle root should be the same, and that that that's what's being uh, posted for this optimistic distributor contract. And uh, also in this IPFS hash, uh, the proposer can uh, link this uh, details of all all these payouts and host it on uh, this interplanetary file system where each voter could also for example observe what what their earned amounts are and also what their merkle proofs are because it, the, these pieces of data will be needed later on for uh, voters to collect their claims and once this proposal propose distribution function is called an optimistic distributor is asking the question to optimistic oracle on the MUMA side so calling request price and setting these all the custom parameters and also uh, a bit different like maybe we have in standard kpi options also here at the proposal time so optimistic oracle rec uh, receives both the request and also pro propose price and this uh, optimistically uh, what's being proposed is that the payouts proposed by the proposer are valid so meaning the value of one uh, scaled up to 18 dec decimals is being proposed to optimistic oracle so unless there is a, a dispute then uh, the system would deem the uh, payouts uh, that they are valid uh, sorry i Kevin, uh, I, I saw the question, just didn't catch uh, the full. Let me see if I can see it in chat. Yeah, so if sponsors uh, need to invoke a reward, uh, is there currently... Well, so what, what do you mean by invoking a reward? So um, I can provide more details. Let's say if someone create a rewards or uh, increase the rewards, but then let's say it, it was a mistake. Um, is there a way to cancel the rewards and get refunded? Yeah, uh, no, uh, if the, the rewards are committed and they, they can be claimed back unless uh, just the vote did not resolve as they wished. And the reason why it's so is that these uh, uh commitments would would be uh, viewed by voters who at the same time 
already might make a voting choice and uh, there might be also competition with other uh, bribers in a auction style mechanism so it would not be fair if uh, what, what is already ongoing and then the sponsor could say no sorry i didn't mean that no uh, withdraw rewards so once uh, they post the rewards or initially or top them up then uh, the only way how to get back uh, them is only if the vote was not in their favor or like the results were not achieved, but they're, they're mm. basically committing fully. And But it, it's stuck there, basically, right? Unless they create, let's say, unless they create a distribution to themselves to get refunded. Yeah, right? sure. Uh, the, the, the price identify UMIP uh, specifies uh, also rules how the if, for example, in the case the underlying vote for the snapshot was cancelled, or that there are some other reasons why the uh, system should react in some uh, uh, unexpected way, then sure, that there should be clear instructions on that uh, the sponsor can propose actually all the bribes be, be being uh, paid back to them. But that has to go through the verification mechanism through uma optimistic mm -hmm. oracle they can't I just uh, claim that back uh, as they wish so uh, all the mm -hmm. payouts and also cl clawback amounts uh, should be verified that makes sense i'm just thinking from the user experience because uh at least in the in the past couple of weeks i mean yeah, like, which is kind of short i've also seen like uh some people complain about ac accidentally like making a mistake right so here in the flow, they, there's a, quite a few places where people can make a mistake. One, for example, either they increase the rewards by too much. Um, two is uh, if they they might construct the distribution wrongly, right? Either just uh, excluding some things that they should not they should have included, or let's say if the total distribution doesn't sum up to the to the reward, uh, then there yeah, could be a uh, chance that uh, it will be stuck in the distributor right uh, well uh, there, there are two uh, elements there so what, one is uh, the role of the sponsor uh, to and that they are responsible to actually defining all these initial rules correctly and uh, the safeguards what uh, that that's still working progress but that uh, should should be handled at the end of the day by uh, covenant uh, protocol uh, front end that has like strict already Kind of supported the uh, um, instructions uh, for, for for supported the voting platforms. Uh, each each platform might have different rule set on how to resolve, and uh, we would not expect uh, like uh, sponsors uh, actually to interact with contract directly, and uh, only as lo as long as the, sure, sure, sure if you know what you're doing, but. Uh, uh, that's theoretically possible, but that would not be supported by the protocol. So that there will be, mm -hmm. so, uh, at the launch, uh, that there might be a couple of uh, supported uh, voting platforms, uh, so which each has their own like uh, rules already pre-approved. So the job of the sponsor would be just pick uh, one of those and uh, select the total amount what they want to fund. Uh, but mm -hmm. sure, sure, uh, funding uh, is irre irreversible, like uh, anything like they're doing on chain. So that we would expect uh, them to understand. And on, on the side of uh, proposers, uh, we would expect that th those would be initially the operator of the protocol. But as time time goes. Uh, on uh, anyone could do that, but it requires certain uh, skill and uh, certain like uh, yeah. underlying infrastructure to uh, actually run those verification uh, scripts and uh, make sure that uh, the proposals are be being made right. And so, yeah. sponsor is risking their funded rewards while the proposal is risking the proposer bond so uh, that's being set up by the sponsor well, when they funding those rewards so those are two separate things and they, they are quite important there for the economic incentives to work but the 
Yeah, I think this is like a, a like a longer discussion for sure. But because system, even if you build infrastructure and bots, and we've seen that firsthand with our own infrastructure, right? Those infrastructure can make mistakes as well. Yep. So I was just thinking there could be things built into the system to prevent mistakes from being made. For example, a proposed distribution maybe could include an extra parameter that someone pass can pass into say that oh this is the total of the distribution I think it should be right and then compare that with the rewards like the, the total amount of rewards for example for that reward index and then if they don't match then maybe don't allow that to go through for example because otherwise it could leave like the remaining like stuck funds in the yeah system, we, we, right? we kind of uh, thought on uh, that a bit but uh, yeah still yeah, that, that's one uh, check that could be made, but th then there's a uh, much uh, uh, higher risk of uh, action, actually not complying with the rules is, for example, when the to all the total payouts in the table don't add up and uh, there is at least currently no uh, cheap way uh, how you could on-chain actually verify that and that that, that, that is the assumption uh, we are making that there is a certain uh, level of complication on the side of uh, proposers to make the right choice. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And yes, so once this uh, proposing phase is over, then potentially anyone should uh, verify that and dispute. And the dispute is done. Uh, just to simplify, things uh, should be done directly to the optimistic oracle. And if, if that happens, then uh, this is tr fired the re requesting price through DVM. And uh, we have our like normal voting cycle to resolve that. But th that happens only if, if there is a dispute. And once that liveness uh, time is uh, over or the dispute, was resolved, then anyone again can call uh, execute distribution on this optimistic distributor. So the entering the distribution phase, and what that does is uh, then the optimistic distributor at that time would uh, ask optimistic oracle. So what was the final price and try to settle that. In case if there was a dispute, then it's uh, also the same question is being asked to DVM and. Uh, at the end of the day, if the answer is like one, meaning that yes, the proposal was valid, uh, only in that case, uh, this optimistic distributor who is, who is owner and controlling the separate Merkel distributor contract is funding those rewards and transferring them by calling set window uh, that, that, that basically transfers all the uh, max, maximum payouts to this Merkle distributor contract and together with all the required uh, uh, pieces for uh, Merkle root and which token it is and uh, what, what's like IPFS hash of those payouts are. So only in case if the uh, distribution is valid. If it's not valid, then uh, the, uh, it's being just ignored by the optimistic distributor and you have to propose uh, you uh, pay out uh, this uh, distribution there. And uh, at the point of time when uh, the funds are at the Merkel distributor, so anyone who voted and included, including also the original sponsor, uh, can claim both of these rewards and or claw back initial, uh, so, sorry, remaining. Uh, payment that they are entitled if the, for example if not if maximum like voting results were not achieved so yeah that's like most important pieces there um, maybe some other questions on uh, this because i understand that can be a bit involved there All right, yeah. So, what what else uh, can this do? Uh, so, in, in the previous example, and also when we are building this, particularly for Covenant, uh, initial use case is uh, bribing. But uh, what we realized is that uh, 
any uh, decentralized uh, payouts to the group of people uh, can be calculated and also distributed in the similar fashion so if previously like the job of the user was to vote so anything that includes like the system where one party uh, is uh, paying for the job and then there is group of people uh, fulfilling the task uh, we have a primitive that allows uh, to transfer those payouts and calculate them verify and distribute them in a decentralized fashion so just an example what's being now uh, yeah. proposed and built is uniswap v3 liquidity mining on polygon where uh, there is incentivization of uh, kind of competition between uh, active managers on Uniswap V3 on Polygon and that they're competing for fees earned and that's weighted by their capital locked and uh, that uh, in this case uh, the f f f f sponsor or like Polygon, who is uh, sp sponsoring this competition, uh, will be funding those rewards in the optimistic distributor, uh, together with all the detailed rules. Uh, and then it would be job of uh, these active, uh, like asset managers, to do their job and uh, match <coughs> manage their portfolios and co collect their fees and. Uh, once that's over then anyone can look at rules and see who has won the competition and uh, propose the payout through optimistic distributor to transfer uh, all the rewards to a winning party and well once those rewards are there uh, verified through optimistic oracle then they are can be like eg executing this distribution can can, can be transferred to Merkle distributor contract for these uh, winners to uh, claim. That, that, that's like, uh, for example, one, one application what's uh, in the works now, but uh, any relay, like uh, relationship where you have a party who's want, want to have some kind of job done and there are a bunch of like persons motivated to perform, uh, we, we have a like mechanism to do it so yeah that kind of brings brings us uh, to the end of uh, the content uh, probably I, I will guess there might be uh, some other questions on, on this i would be happy like to answer either now or of the call if, if you have those and uh, yeah but just note that uh, this is still like work in progress, um, contracts are being audited now and uh, the front end is still being built. So that there are some, some of uh, dependencies there for, for this to work out, but I'm quite ex excited that this will bring nice product on the table for DAOs, for example, to utilize and play around with that. So, any final questions here? I don't have a specific question yet. I'm just absorbing everything. I think one will come. Sure. Yeah, so, I would be happy to answer any questions like off the call if, if there are. So, yeah, feel free. Thank you, Rainus. This was great. Thanks, Rainus. This was great. Um, right. Share your slides, please. Yeah, this was really good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, already did. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank Bye. you. Bye.